Um, if you look at this closely here, you can see it actually has basically little hairs all over. It also has very thin, very sharp thorns to it. They're straight and very thin, um, but it has all these little hairs in between. This is called Wineberry Phenicolaceous uh, Rubus, yes. Um, rubus for red, because you can see the red in the stem, that, that red coloration uh, gives it away uh, as wineberry. The berries are a kind of a wine red color, and this is a non-native berry that displaces blackberries, because this fruits on its first year growth. So as soon as it comes out of the ground, those, it's going to fruit on those. So that always gives it a better chance. So any place where you're maintaining by mowing, this will come in and fruit and take over while the blackberries slowly fade away because they're being mowed down. These are actually tastier to mm. most people than blackberries. Blackberries and black raspberries have a tiny bit of bitterness in them, mm -hmm. right? And of course, you know, basically what we know now is things that have a bitter taste are good for us. <laughs> There's whatever causes the bitterness. It's actually uh, good. It is, is good for your system, right? These are sweet. They don't have any bitterness to them. So animals will also come to them because they're sweet and they'll eat these instead of the good stuff, the nutritious stuff. Same for people. We like the taste of these and you know, you know mix, mix these in with blackberries and you get a good balance. But because they're sweet, they're not as good for wildlife. They're coming for the sugar rush. So one of the things, the terms that I use for this and a lot of non-native plants is their junk food because they don't have the right balance of nutrients for our wildlife. Native plants are what those all these animals grew up with over, you know, millennia, literally, you know, perhaps hundreds of thousands of years while the plants and the wildlife grew up together and they they cooperate. <laughs> So you bring something in, this is Asian in origin, um, and it brings a different balance of nutrients in it, and our wildlife is not adapted to that, and so they suffer nutritionally by eating the wrong stuff. So I think junk food is a good explanation for them.